Leo said that he's going to prove to her that she's the only one he wants. I said, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Especially with Ivy being back. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life of Chessie for the Bold and Beautiful October 18, 2024. Okay, y'all. So first thing for let me know y'all thoughts on today's episode down below. Look, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know at this point because they don't show Ivy for next week's episode. I had been seeing stuff about her returning, but I said, is she just there to visit or what? But remember last time before she left, she kissed Liam and Steffi had a problem with that. She sat there with them or whatever. And then I think Ivy ended up leaving or something like that. But so far, y'all, I hope it's sticking to her word. She's not returning to Liam. But when they got to kissing and stuff and she had unbuttoned his shirt, she stopped him. She stopped him or whatever. And I said, I hope, I hope she stopped him for her own sake and not for Liam. Because Ivy's back and he don't know who he wants. So he's going to prove to her that she the only one for him. If you ain't been able to do it all these decades, <laughs> what make you think you're going to be able to do it now? <laughs> well, I take that back. I take that back. Because you actually did, you did convince them. You ain't proved nothing. You convinced them that you actually wanted them. But okay, on today's episode, uh, let's start with Steph and Finn. So they was kissing or whatever, and then she was like, she needed that. And then he was like, what's going on? So he ends up talking about hope for the future. She ends up talking about hope for the future. And I said, you know what I thought about? I know yesterday I said, um... What did I say yesterday? I said how every week they talk about hope for the future or in and hope for the future. And I said, I thought the deal was if hope stays away from Finn, she gets to keep her line. But yeah, they was talking about hope for the future or whatever. And she ends up telling him all about Carter sticking up for hope. And I said, but Carter is what? He's not the CEO. He's the COO or whatever. I think he in charge of finances or something like that. So does he get a vote or something? But yeah, they, they ended up basically not closing her line again i said no i'll be on the chopping block every week but yeah they was talking about hope for the future about carter sticking up for hope and then Steffi was saying how she wonders why carter suddenly showing so much interest in hope for the future i said cuz cuz he has interest in her i said i hope he don't get his feelings hurt again but he falls too fast he falls way too fast what y'all think I know some people want them together. I would like to see them together, but that's only if she really done with Liam. But we seen her. We seen her. But now they throwing Ivy into me, so maybe she'll stay over there with Carter for a while. But we don't know at this point. But I said, poor naive Carter. He falls so hard so quickly. He falls way too fast. He already told me some doggone, um, what he said? How he said? Basically, um, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm crazy about you. Then you just started catching feelings for her two episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what the saying is uh love at first sight that's definitely the truth for carter they just be, they be having him on here to make a fool out of himself because every time he told didn't he tell quinn and uh who else was he with he was with zoe um what was the other lady name the first one the first time i started watching i think it was uh maya maya he wanted her but she was with rick um zoe did he want paris he was with paris but he wanted quinn i can't remember it was somebody else i'm forgetting about but yeah, he over here telling her that he crazy about her or whatever. But um, Brooke was talking to Carter, basically thanking him for stepping in and speaking up for Hope or whatever. Then Brooke took her tail over here to El Jardino to talk to Deacon about their child or whatever, their daughter. I had to cut that part out. What was we talking about? Um, Deacon and Brooke. I said, you know what I thought about when I seen they seen? I said, why is it okay? She was bothered about uh, Ridge hanging out with Taylor. As she should have been. But at the same time, we don't seen you go over here at Eric's multiple times. We don't seen you go over here with uh now you're at Deacons. And um I had forgot about Eric at first because I knew Deacon, I knew Bill, and I said, wait a minute, she was just at Eric's too. So I said, Why is it okay for you to study hang out with your exes, but Ridge can't? <laughs> But yeah, all they was talking about was Hope and Carter spoke up for her and he the reason that her line got saved. And then he said something about he could come there to get some free pizza or something. But they wasn't talking about much of anything. I thought Bill was going to show up, but no, nah, he didn't show up. Um, Who else we got left? We got um, we got Bill, Liam, Will, and then we're going to end with Hope and Carter. So Bill, Liam, and Will was talking about the same thing about Liam trying to get back with Hope. He's talking about some doggone. He not giving up and talking about some doggone. <laughs> he going to prove to Hope that she's the only one for him. What else did he say? He was already talking crazy and stuff. Um, He not going to give up. He's determined. He texts her. 
he texts her talking about some uh, what time to bring off bring I said bring off. What time to bring uh Beth back or something like that? No. What time to pick Beth up? I said, yeah, he was going to use that as his excuse. I thought that was going to end up being at, at the cabin and he was going to drop off Beth or come there or whatever. And that's when he's going to walk in on them. But nope. Nope. It looked like she's not even at his place on Monday's episode. But we'll see. We'll see if they pick up where they left off. Um, What else? Um, Bill wanted to know what Will said to make Liam realize he still wants hope. And that's all they was talking about. And Bill ended up leaving. And Will was trying to find out what else happened. And that's when he was saying how he's not going to give up. And then Will brought up the fact that uh, some other guy going to come along and get it. I said, too late. I said, too late. I would hope so. But, yeah, um, Carter done took hold back to his place. I said, oh, Lord, the little shack. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord, he done took her back to the little shack. But, yeah, she was thanking him. And they was just talking about Liam. And she was saying how she told him, basically, she's not interested. That's what she said. She didn't say it like that, but, yeah. And then what, he was like, I don't know if you're able to tell, but I'm crazy about you. He tells her he can't stop thinking about her. Um, and I said, Carter, I hope you ain't going to be disappointed. But now they done brought Ivy back. Now they brought Ivy back. I don't know how long she's going to be there, but she's supposed to be on next week's episode. And, you know, last time, again, like I said at the beginning of this, she wanted Liam or whatever. So I was like, maybe they're going to end up together. Then they show Steffi face, and I said, Steffi, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> It's a trip. But yeah, that's it. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day. A great weekend to be safe.